Well, Google could lose as much as $750 million because of its advertiser boycott. Facebook will now ban new political ads. As more top brands pull their advertising. Growing pressure from an advertising boycott. The world of advertising in general is at this point of change. Every social media app or site currently relies on one thing, ads. Ads are the only stream of revenue for content creators and the social media companies. But with ads being increasingly controversial, and with both stakeholders being affected by their volatility, ads are currently just a necessary evil. But that doesn't have to be the case. Introducing Monify. Monify is reinventing the way we monetize social media content. Instead of watching ads on platforms such as YouTube, users can opt in to mine cryptocurrency, specifically Monero, with Monify to support their favorite content creators. Mining is as simple as running a program on your computer, which helps process blockchain transactions in exchange for a small fee. This fee, accumulating over time, can provide a useful source of revenue, which Monify takes advantage of. This is executed through a seamless web extension and installer. Here's an overview of the extension, which shows up as a little side panel when a user watches a YouTube video. It contains some brief information about the content creator the user is watching, control panel to manage mining, as well as mining statistics. This in turn talks to the service which runs in the background on the computer. All right, now let's give a quick demo of Modify. So you're gonna to wanna to navigate to just a plain old Firefox browser. Um, and once you've installed the extension, you'll just do control shift Y and that will bring up the panel. So as you can see right now, all the values are empty because we are not on a valid YouTube video page. So to get started, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to a YouTuber, such as MKPHD and go to one of their videos. So if we click this video, you'll see it's instantly populated with the YouTuber's name, subscriber count, just various uh, details about them. So now if we're watching their videos and we want to start mining to opt into the program to help contribute to them, we can hit activate. And the moment we do that, it's going to tell us the miner is now running. We can verify this by checking task manager. You'll see the miner just started up and is now mining. Um, if we want to stop this at any point, we can just disable it by hitting go back to ads. And if we check task manager again, you'll see that it is no longer running. Right, so besides starting and stopping the mining, we can look at the dashboard and we can view our current hash rate, which is basically how much processing power we're using to mine right now. We can view how many other people are mining to that content creator right now. Um, we can see how much in total uh, Monero has been mined for that content creator by other people. Um, and we can view graphs of the activity of miners over time and how many people are currently mining right now. Um, besides uh, statistics and all that, we can use probably the most useful feature here, which is auto mine. So by enabling auto mine, anytime we are watching a YouTube video, it will automatically start mining for that content creator. So if we hit auto mine, it's going to re-enable mining, but now, so it's on right now, but the moment we navigate away to go to google.com, we can check back in task manager and it's not mining anymore. If you want to start remining again, we can go back to YouTube and just click on any video. As you see, we are now mining again. Um, just like before, we can disable this at any time by clicking auto mine and it is now disabled. Now let's talk about how we built Monify. Monify is split into two components, the Firefox extension and the background service. The Firefox extension manifests itself as a browser side panel seen earlier, which is built with lightweight JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. We use the Argon Bootstrap library for visualizations. When a user navigates to a YouTuber's video page, the JavaScript calls the YouTube data API to request information about the content creator, which is then displayed on the side panel. The buttons to manage the mining simply send get request to the background service controlling the miner. There's also an iframe in the side panel, which links to the Monero mining wallet to show some statistics about what the user is currently mining for. On the other side, the service is implemented with csharp.net. It consists of a web server that receives commands from the browser extension through a REST API. When it receives a start signal, it spawns a process that runs the Monero miner executable. When it receives a stop signal, it terminates the process. This service is packaged in an easy to use installer through the Wix installer toolkit and can be run on any computer. Now let's talk about the impact of Monify. 
So starting off with the feasibility of the project. According to the data we've collected, we can expect a user who is mining all day to make around 35 cents during the day. While this may seem small, if we assume they are watching the average video length of 10 minutes, this correlates to a profit of nearly two and a half dollars per thousand views of that video. This is double the average amount a YouTuber can expect to make from ad monetization. Finally, one of the biggest ways Modify can impact social media is by getting rid of ads entirely. Ads have been in hot water in the past, especially due to the data collection and privacy rights issues that have been brought up by targeted ads. This leads to consumer distrust in social media, thus making social media lose revenue. Modify, however, takes ads out of the picture. Modify keeps users completely anonymous and has zero data collection, thanks to the lack of servers brought by decentralization. In all, Modify is the way to revolutionize how social media monetizes content. Modify has the potential to change advertising and social media forever.